Welcome to part 2 of the Witch King of Angmar inspired dagger build. In this part we'll finish the blade, make the handle, assemble all the parts. So I've cut the slot here um, and fitted the two together. Um, yeah, it's not nice and neat as it would be from a milling machine, but I don't have a milling machine. Um, so I'm just going to uh, tidy that there and then I may drill a hole and put a pin in to hold it but the um, handle will be up here somehow I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet whether I'm going to put two sides glue it or whether I'm going to somehow drill it and slide it on and then slide this piece in uh, I'm yet to figure that bit out yet but so far uh, so good. Well, I've cut the uh, piece for the tang uh, using this cutter. Um, tang fits in great and then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue these together with uh, epoxy because as you can see there are quite a few splits so I think I'll epoxy it I'll put epoxy in the splits and then I'll be able to um, carve it to the shape I want I do want to use it because it is uh, very old um, and I think it's really nice wood there are some woodworm in it So I have um, finished doing the filing on the on the blade. Uh, I've done some sanding with 80 grit. Um, I'm not going to sand it too much, um, maybe to 220. I've taken my piece of bog oak and I've sanded it down, you can see these big splits, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some um, araldite epoxy and fill those in and then um, that fits on like that. I have to cut it short so that the pommel will fit in here um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, carve all this like I did on the Bowie knife so it makes it look like uh, leather's been bound around it. It'll all come up black once I put um, sanding sealer and polish on it. The blackness will all come back up again. It's all gone because it's all dusty at the moment. So that's where I'm going to go next. So where, this is where we're up to. I did do a short video of the carving, but I can only show you some of it because um, I kind of had the camera in the wrong place. So this is the bog oak now. I've uh, done some basic carving on it. I've put sanding sealer and furniture polish, so now it's really nice and black. Um, I've taken the blade and I have uh, heated it. Uh, with this um, uh, blowtorch um, and then hammered it. Uh, this creates oxide on the surface so it gets this nice um, 
old look and then I've just gone and filed the edge just to bring it up um, here's the spikes I've heated them I've straightened them back out a bit they were too bent in um, so we can put them on like that um, I can put this on like because uh, I'm almost easier now like this and then I've also heated this and hammered it so you can see it's, it's nice and textured and it's got a nice patina on there all the oxide on it and then that will glue in the end here I also cut a small disc to hide the, hide the end of the bog oak hide the split so that will be all glued in like that so it will look something like that once I've uh, glued it all together there's still the split here in the bog oak but I'm not worried too much about that, that's history and those splits so it will glue in there um, so I've got to araldite, epoxy that all together and then I'll show it to you it's all epoxied up here now but I thought I was finished but uh, my metal slightly out there and my wood slightly out there because to get it straight this way I'm a little bit out so I'm going to have to work on that now nearly there well here's the final dagger so it's quite pointy if I look at it down this way you can see all the spikes look a bit like the ones on his on his crown and then you've got the bog oak Irish bog oak the black bog oak is believed to be around the 2000 year old mark uh, preserved by the tannins I think and the acid in the bogs um, I sorted out my problems down the bottom here by filing it down and then I um, made it all silver and then on the pommel you can see all the marks of where I've uh, hammered it gives it quite an aged feel I like all the little flaws in the wood the crack down the down the handle so I'm quite pleased with it um, one thing I would do next time I'll make the tang thinner which then means I, I can make the handle thinner because I think it would have done better if it if I'd been able to bring it in narrower here it's just it's fine that in that way but it's just this way I think it would do with coming in a bit narrower but um, I kinda like the look of it I think it's what I expected um, I think it turned out quite nicely um, and there it is so I hope you enjoyed that build. Um, wasn't too difficult. Um, turned out really nice, and I uh, hope you'll come back and see some of my future builds. And uh, thanks for watching.